Hi, I'm Matt Halberstadt, and today we're going to talk about EOS OSC integration with Lightrite version 6. Let's get set up. First, we'll need a Lightrite computer and a switch or some sort of network to connect the two devices to our EOS console. Then we have to make sure that our EOS settings match OSC settings on the network. So let's look at port 1 in our network tab and enable OSC and start up EOS. For setting up OSC in Lightrite, let's click on the console connect button. You can see here that it shows you the IP address that you'll need to set up in EOS and we will enter the IP address of the EOS console. To find the IP address of the EOS console, you can do that in the Shell Settings Network tab, or you can press About on the console, and it will show you the IP address. So let's go ahead and enter the IP address in Lightrite, and enable Use Console Link. Now let's go back to EOS and go to the Show Settings, Show Control, and you can see we've entered the IP address for Lightrite, and we've enabled string, receive, and OSC transmit. Click OK on Lightrite, and Lightrite will show you that it's connected by turning on the yellow console link. On your main worksheet, uh, let's enable a new function by right-clicking, going to Show Columns, and adding console level. You can see the same icon that's used for console link indicates that the channels will have a level from EOS. So just to quickly show setting a level, select the address that you'd like, press the spacebar on your light right computer, and you can set it to a level. Now you can see in EOS that channel 1 is at 40% that you've set in light right, and the communication is confirmed that it's working. Let's go ahead and take that channel out. This also works on EOS, so let's set a few levels. Let's do channels 1 through 16 at full. Now to find out what channels have levels from EOS, in Lightrite, go to your Utilities tab and click View Active Channels in Worksheet. Lightrite will get the information from EOS, and you can see that the channels that I have patched in my worksheet, 1 through 9, are showing as active, and EOS has them active as well. It also shows you some channels that I don't have patched in my Lightrite worksheet. We can quickly find that information directly from EOS using the Compare Console Patch versus Lightrite Patch. So you can see channels 11 through 26 that EOS has patched are not included in Lightrite at this time. So this gives you a quick and easy way to compare the console patch versus your Lightrite patch. So let's take those channels out. Go back to all our channels. Another thing that you can do is get all the queue lists from EOS into Lightrite. So let's go ahead and open our current queue list in Lightrite. It only has queue list one. And now we want to populate all this data from EOS into Lightrite. So let's get from the queue list menu, get all queue lists from the console. And you can now see that it's populated with my EOS queue list. And let's enable a few functions in Lightrite so that Lightrite can stay up to date with what the EOS console is doing. So from queue list, menu, let's enable show active queue, scroll as queues fire, and let's show the queue buttons in case you want to control EOS from Lightrite. So as you can see in EOS, our queue list that we have loaded is exactly the same as what Lightrite is showing. So let's record another queue. Let's set our channels 1 through 15 at full and record a new queue. Record Q13. You can see as I recorded Q13, Lightrite was updated with that information. 
I can also label Q13 label and let's enter uh, end of show. And as soon as I enter that label, Lightrate will also update. OSC is bi-directional communication, so we can actually label right from Lightrate and get the information into EOS. So let's go ahead and do a few labels in Lightrate as well. And to send that information to EOS, we'll use the queue list, send queue labels to console. Now you can see that the labels appeared in my queue list from Lightrite. Lightrite will also follow what the console is doing. So as I'm running queues, you can see this indicator advancing as the queues run in EOS. Even if I go out of order on EOS, go to Q9, Lightrite will stay in sync. We can also force EOS to go to a specific queue from Lightrite by selecting a specified queue by hitting Selected Queue Go. You can also take the entire queue list to out, as well as stop back functionality. In Lightray, you can also select multiple channels by using control, selecting them, pressing the space bar, and setting them to a specific level. You can see in the EOS, channels 1 through 6 updated accordingly. Another thing you can do from the Lightrite worksheet is send purpose labels directly to EOS, and EOS will update the patch text database information with the information you've entered. So let's go ahead and send short purpose to console as channel labels. Click OK, and now if we go into patch, you can see all the labels have been updated in EOS from the Lightrite information. And the final thing that is new in Lightrite version 6 is export your Lightrite information in a specific EOS format. This will allow you to use the EOS Lightrite import cleanly and easily with all the specified defaults directly into your console. Then you can take that file and load it directly into EOS. For more information on OSC integration, check out etcconnect.com in the EOS Show Control User Guide.